flip of it. I have agoraphobia. I have a hard time going to a shul or to a minion. I have a really hard time with that. I, I'm out the door in like five seconds. I really, it's hard for me to step inside, step foot inside the shul, right? But it's not hard for me to put on these clothes and walk around in public. For whatever reason, I don't have that problem. It's not hard for you to dress in women's clothing and walk around your apartment feeling pretty. <laughs> thank you, thank you, for, thank you for explaining. Because there's a lot of people who are wondering, Robs, what do you do when you're, when, you know, how do you look at negligee? <laughs> so thank, thanks. Fabulous for, is the answer. Fabulous. Yeah, okay. Um, what the hell was I saying? Um, what was I saying, lady? Schuller minion, right? Um, you're saying how do you get panic attacks? Yeah, I don't get any panic attacks, right? I don't have a. a aversion to going outside dressed like this. I have a problem going outside and bumping into Jews, but I like going outside. I like being outdoors. You know, and if I can get an assurance that nobody's going to bother me, I would go out all the time and just hang out. You're practically the Lewis and Clark at Pico Robinson. What does that mean? I mean, you love exploring the great outdoors. No, I go outside. I mean, you're out there, you're exploring I, Oregon and the I got Pacific my, Ocean. I got my cane and, and my walking stick. Sailing down dangerous, fast-moving rapids. That's me. I'm I'm there. You're assisted by a 16-year-old Indian girl. I mean, <laughs> you right. are the Lewis and Clark of Pico Robinson. Yeah, I'm, I'm out there. You love the great outdoors. Okay. So the question is, can you get a hector? Can you get a hector? I can get a hector not to go to Shula or Minion because of agoraphobia, right? Can you get a hector? And aside from the fact that they'll stone you if you right. step foot inside of any of the illustrious Minyanian well, That's you. Shules in you, you were the one who was they'll kicked out. They'll see you and they'll throw stones at you. Yeah. All right, so I hope that answered your question. All right, you got anything this week? Oh, man, I can't wait for another stimulating Rubashkin update. We'll get to that in a second, lady. First. first. <laughs> Why are you in a mood? <laughs> Can't wait to hear about the judge. <laughs> Can't wait to get the old Burger King chase <laughs> connection. <laughs> Learn how, how the guy in like tighten the screws on old Shalom Rabashkin. <laughs> threw him in prison and threw away the key. <laughs> Can't wait to hear about some yoga community hundred miles away and how they affected the the, the prosecution. <laughs> I say those of you who among you who among you can say honestly that he is immune to the excitement of another Shalom Rabashkin. <laughs> you are your own worst enemy. <laughs> You are your own worst enemy. Do you know that there's people out there that tune in just for that? I believe it. There's, I actually, somebody sent me an email yesterday and they said that they have workstations network, 20 workstations network through my PC and they're tuned in to watch us live. They watch us live, lady. They're giving up everything tonight, 4th of July, because they want to hear what does Rabs and Lady have to say about Rubashkin? Do you think he has internet access? Who does? In prison. Show him. I don't know. I don't know. If you're out there and you're watching, come into the chat room and say hi. <laughs> okay. So, uh, there's that. Before we get to the Rushkin thing, I wanted to, I wanted